And here's Ghost Kid number two. Uh, Ghost Kid number two. Oh, oh, I was, I was standing too close. Ghost Kid 2. Um. Oh, did I do it too soon? She is hyper right now. Oh, my God. Got another doll. Now, five in a line. Several pinwheels are set around the small shrine. Perhaps the shrine was used to pay respects to the spirits of children. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so the ghost is that. Uh, the correct path is over there. Why don't we take a peek this way to see if there's that line of uh, statues. This might also go to the same place. Yeah, this looks like, like it's going to the same... Oh no, ghost! Who would have thought? Come here, girl. Come here, girl! Oh god! Should have, uh. Should have respected her more. Not make that mistake twice. I think when she does that, like, slight move with her, with her shoulders, she's repositioning into a different animation. Just fucking. I dodged. Now that I've figured out that I can dodge and then get basically a free Fatal Frame on her, uh, makes this fight a lot easier. A little easier. Because you can, you don't have to time it, you can just spam the button. There's no parry. It's just make sure you hit it before you can't hit it. Oh, gotta touch her. Touch her. I think we have touched her before. Yeah. I was watching a full playthrough of Silent Hill The Room, and that game is terrible. However, I do like in that game that there's special items you can get to deal with enemies that would otherwise stay with you throughout the second half of the game. Basically, there are ghosts, and you have to spear them with swords, and if you don't, they will be a problem. They will keep coming back over and over and over. And there's nothing else you can do about it. You can fight them off or run, but you can't kill them unless you use the swords, which are a limited item. And, I'm, and I feel like this game series might benefit from something like that. Where there's a lot of threats, but if you use special resources, maybe the tall lady just stops coming back. Or just find a way to cleanse the tall lady permanently. Maybe you have to fight her true form around where she died or something, you know? That's all I'm looking for. I think that would be nice. You returned all the effigies to the shelf. You got the reward lens. A lens that increases the number of points earned by taking photos for a short time. That is a video game item right there. All right. All right. Uh, let's take a look at it. Wow, we have a lot of these. Um, ah, here's the reward lens. I mean, this is just, points or experience is just an experience increasing weapon or uh, lens type. Huh. Uh, no, I don't want to use it, but maybe I want to equip it. Um, yeah, that's true, Shrike, that's true. Uh, oh no, it's shut! So when am I gonna kill those kids again? I guess not right now. Wow, that shut angrily. No wonder everyone thinks there's ghosts around here. The doors are designed to shut with such force. Alright, 
So just double checking. All that up there is done. That's the shrine. So going forward. Hop. That's Ahsoka on the Twilight Peak. I, I'm assuming it's still pronounced Twilight. I just don't know why it's spelled differently. I don't know if there's an actual difference. Oh, hey. That's a big box. Hey, old lady. How you doing? Are you the villain? What you got there? Do you have an do you have a relic? Is she go What is wrong with her fingers? Did you see that? Yuri's fingers look decrepit like she was basically a skeleton. Yuri, did you get tricked into the box? Yuri, you fucked up. That's a good villain, though, making sure the trap works. You shall become a pillar as well. Ooh. Wait, what? How am I holding it open? What? Oh shit, too soon. <laughs> She's just going around in circles. I got out. out. I'm out. I'm not a pillar. You crazy old fucking hag. Look at her. Oh my god. Oh, what was... Are those shots? Those are shots. I'm fucked. Holy shit, she does damage. Uh, I got, I use that with the point thing, by the way. I meant to go to my items to heal. Because, ow. Old lady knows how to smack. Why, she, why are you green? Oop. Why are you green now? Oh, because I'm getting extra XP for the 10 seconds. She looks like she's having fun. She's having a grand old time. I keep making her green to steal her experience, to steal her soul. Oh. Oh, nope. She ain't dead. Look at how fast she goes. Oh, well. There we go. I just need to get rid of these fucking orbs. She's hiding behind the mirror. I wonder if that means anything. Stop, do stop doing that weird orb shit, lady. Oh, well. I think we got her. Yep. We fucked up that ghost. Nope. Oh, no! I didn't get to touch her. Oh. So we almost became a pillar. Oh, God. Really? Fucking really? While we're going for the key item game, did you have to... It's just more annoying than anything. <laughs> a journal with a black cover has been left here. It did belong to that old woman. We must forge more pillars. The great pillar is collapsing. The black water will overflow. The black water must be contained before the great pillar melts away. Another journal. I became a shrine maiden after I survived that flood. I was half dead when I awoke, alone amongst the corpses. I could see things, things that no one else could see. That was my calling. I purified my body, and when I arrived at the mountain, I was overwhelmed with a cacophony of voices. The talking trees, the whispering stones, the weeping water. Echoes of past prayers piled up one on top of the other, on top of another. Time slowed to a crawl, and I could see each individual raindrop that fell. The veins on every leaf stood out vividly. Images of death flashed out in front of me. I could smell the choking stench of death. 
I was told I would need more training. I wanted to flee as soon as I arrived, but I had no home to run away to. No matter where I go, it will be the same. In the end, I will be alone. Despite being... Oh, wow. The blow lens. Double damage, eh? So why would we want the crush lens? But the... Oh, so... The blow lens is economical and allows us to shoot more often with it. Because you can make it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. But it only does two times. Whereas the crush lens starts at 2.0. And we can get it up to presumably 3.5 times. I think the blow lens might actually just be better. Unless you're using really expensive film. Because if you could make your gold film do 3.5 times damage, like, holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. So, yeah. Oh, fucking two in a row. Motherfucker. I didn't expect two in a row. These things are doing more damage than that old lady boss. We're going for three. Nope, we're good, we're good. I uh, I don't think we need to heal. Where'd that big box go? I guess the box wasn't real. A new pillar must be found. Oh, I'm, that must have been the wind. Nothing there. Oh, well, there's Ahsoka. Is she going to be the new pillar? There's an item somewhere. Where's that item? This game's bad at indicating where items are. Hmm. This is an odd summit. Hello. Ahsoka standing in the lake. Yeah, that's, she's dead. She's dead, Yuri. I'm, I am like, I would bet money that she's dead. I'd be shocked if she survived this. Several pinwheels have been set on the, on the beach. These are very colorful. So where's that item? Hmm. Oh, this is a different path we could have taken. We didn't actually have to fight that old lady. Look at that. We could have come this way. With all this smoldering, all these smoldering rocks. Huh. Oh, it's like a hot spring. Ah, oh, right, right, right. There's a hot spring here. It's just hot up here. Okay, when we were oh you know what it was Ahsoka. it was the ghost being the the thing of uh the object of interest was simply a ghost now let us wander bravely into this giant magical lake oh no the mist But are we better than Hisoka? Can we fend off the ghosts? Hopefully, otherwise we're fucked. Maybe we should drain the lake. Does anyone consider doing that? There must be some construction equipment up here somewhere. Maybe we could get a permit. Just dig a little trough and just, you know, have it spill out. 
It's not like anyone up here is going to be able to complain. They're all fucking dead. I think you've been in the lake too long. Let us fall together. I think those eyes are supposed to be creepy, but honestly, it's very silly. Hello. Alright, well, uh... Last time... I could only run from her, but I think... Can I actually get out of here? Nope. Not like that. Alright, I think we might have to engage in combat. It's weird, I know. Oh. Oh, she just walked at us. Oh, that was strange. It's the beach from before. Have I lost her? I should leave here and get away from the mountain right now. Without doing anything. Oh my god, we simply left. Yuri followed Hisoka's trace to the shore of the Lake of the Departed, where it vanished into the mist. In her place, a woman appeared, the same dark presence seen in, in Hisoka's photograph. Unable to inflict any damage with the camera obscura, Yuri's only option was to run. Yuri recalled the outline of a large Tori gate over the misty lake. Could that be where Hisoka was headed? Are you fucking kidding me? We we just le we left again. Emaduck, you're right. The drain's clogged. So mirror stones are worth five thousand. Purifying embers are worth twenty five hundred a pop. Yeah, just collecting shit and not letting and not using anything other than type fourteen film. Herbal medicines are worth basically nothing. I should always use those because they're. They're worth trash. That was... Oh. One second. What was that achievement? No, oh, just progress. Back to Ren! Alright, Ren. We can change Mew's outfit. But we haven't... Is this a spoiler? Are we gonna be controlling Miu at one point? Cause why else would we have costumes for her? Cause we, we don't have costumes for Hisoka. Or um, Haruka. Fucking spoiled myself. Alright buddy. You're getting this stupid groom outfit and you're gonna goddamn like it. It looks dumb. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't fit him. His hair changes very slightly, I don't know why. Well, too bad. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. The Witching Hour. See, I was expecting this, to get attacked in your, in your offices, in your apartments, etc. I like that kind of thing, you bring the evil with you. I think this should have been happening more. When Yuri returns from Mount Hikami Summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Miyu is also in an unnaturally deep slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant Rui decide to watch over the girls through the shop's surveillance system instead of just st You guys are almost dying! Why are you in separate rooms at this point? No one's taking this seriously at all. People have died. Ghosts are real. The ghosts want to make you also dead. Now we can see if anything comes to pace a visit. Instead of just looking with their eyes. We're just gonna peep on these high schoolers. Also, why are there cameras in the bedrooms? Why did they do that? Ahsoka, you're fucking pervert. It's her shop. She put them in there. Oh, that's true. He is dressed for the occasion. It is. Oh, no. She's being possessed. Also, Rui is, like, not helpful. What the fuck is happening? 
What? What are you doing, Ren? Ren, do something. They're at least seizing. I mean, we know they're being possessed, but you could say it's a seizure. Like, call the hospital. Now, Rui is just useless. Where he seems to be unconscious, or maybe just asleep. Wonder what that rumbling was. Something must be happening on the mountain. Yuri and Miu have both been affected by the noise. I should make sure they're okay. By continuing to stare at them through the surveillance system. I actually think I have to. Haruka Momos, the girl Yuri saved, was led away by the ghost of a girl who killed herself. Something might have come again. I need to check the surveillance camera feeds to see if the girls are okay. Is this actually just a fucking camera peeping show? Episode? Is that all this is going to be? Can we not leave the room? The camera feeds will switch between cameras automatically. What the fuck is this minigame? Current location is shown at the top of the screen. What the fuck? What is this Five Nights at Freddy shit that's happening? Okay. Do you, can I do something with this information? Press A to get up. That's not... Oh, that is A. They both seem to be fine, but I should keep checking on them every now and then just to be sure. They've been acting strange since that ominous rumble. What's happening on Mount Hikami? I should look into the mountain's history. They must have some books about it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry, you, my duck. With the slight twitch delay, I always have a... Of a very slight edge. Wait, now I can't check. Okay. Don't get startled. Okay. Local customs. Mikamori. On the area in the area around Malkakami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. The people call it Mikamori. And it is placed in the casks to bring in, into their homes, used only for special ceremonies. <clears throat> It is used to give a newborn its first bath or to cleanse the bodies of the dead. This stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water and returns it to it in death. These people are stupid. Another use for this water is known as the cry of the mountain. According to an old woman in the village, there is a saying. When, Mika when Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikamori. When Mount Hikami cries out or rumbles, one ritually immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with the water. The custom likely comes from the mountains, the sound being a bad omen, and they use the pure water as a sort of ward. But wouldn't they be also putting their souls back into the water if they rinsed with it prematurely? But when the water dries, your daughters may be gone? Do not go and search when the mountain is awake. This must refer to girls being taken to the mountain after the ward has worn off, an explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. A bad explanation. They've been kidnapped and sacrificed because the locals are fucked. All right, what do we got over here? Nothing. Oh, is there? Is there a ghost out here? There was. There was a grab. There we go. Tales of photography. The Mikamori region has many anecdotes regarding the act of photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us a glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The picture showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was, because he was a huge coward. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It said that his friend disappeared after that. The picture ate him. The photo bride. A local fool suddenly declared he had been, he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. Someone met, went to the man's house and could hear the sounds of a woman talking within. However, looking inside, he only saw the man from behind and with no sign of a woman. Days passed and the man hasn't left his house. So one of the villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. In the photo was the bride hiding her face, and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. So the photos are eating people, I guess. What happened to the plot in this series? Uh, we have to... I'm gonna see if I can leave. 
Oh, I can leave. I could leave if I wanted to. All right. I'm not going to. We know only bad things happen when I try to explore. So I can't control this. I just have to wait until something happens. Which is, you know, ripe for jump scares. So Yuri's fine. What's the other girl saying? Mew? Mew's fine. Ghosts! I saw ghosts. Get them, Ren. Open the door as slowly as possible. Go get them. I saw you, ghost. You were here. I... Did I not look long enough? I've gotta stand here and keep checking the camera feeds to make sure the girls are okay. Instead of, I don't know, having everyone hang out in one central location. Alright, well, I guess I have to keep looking. The, uh, whatever... Whatever was supposed to happen wasn't apparently me going out and fighting ghosts. Oh, he's gone from there. That's me. It I hope they put a ghost behind Ren. That'd be that'd be cute. That'd be clever. I guess maybe not clever, but I'd like it. Oh no. Oh no. The static feed from Yuri's room. I better go check it out. Where is Yuri's room? Something strange happens on the camera. Get up and investigate it. This feels like a different game. I'm not really sure why they put this into the game. Also, oh, for, for a second there I couldn't run as Ren. This isn't Yuri's room, is it? Yuri's room is upstairs. Both of them are upstairs, actually. Although, hold on. Hold on. No drawer to check in this room. It's like Five Nights if we aren't the ones in danger. Which is odd. Alright, which one? This is Yuri's room. Okay. I'm glad he's not hustling. It's not like there's anything important happening. Hey. Oh no, do I have to fight you? Do I have to fight a dead girl? Hello? I mean, I guess I've been doing a lot of that. But this room is a little small. Oh yeah, my fourth shot. I was trying to get more points. Oh god, that charges back up slowly. No. Stop it. Oh. Oh no, my vision is a little bloody. I mean, she has a fucking... Oh no. I dodged. I need to keep an eye on that knife of hers. I want to get a Fatal Frame for the last shot, if I can. Because now I want to see if I can grab her. Touch that ghost. Touch that ghost. Yeah, touch the ghost. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, she was worth extra. Neat. Oh, there's something. <laughs> no longer cute ghost. Yuri's notebook. When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. I should see a doctor, but I think it's ghosts. All I can do is take the breath and ho then hope to take another. I grow exhausted and spend all my strength just to live. I'm aware of death and I see. People whispering, people with broken faces or in bodies. People who stare at me from bloody sockets. People crying endlessly. All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears, and wait for the moment to pass. They are always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. I should have gotten better. Get out of her. Wait. 
Hey, who the fuck are you? Oh, I should have taken a picture. <laughs>